Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be brief. I would like to talk to you about BS screws on the Gardner engine. It's going to be brief for two reasons. One, um, there's not a lot to talk about. And two, it's something like minus one or minus two degrees centigrade here today. So I'm not going to hang about here. BS screws. What's special about them? Well, you get them on small fittings, particularly small uh, electrical fittings. Um, BA stands for British Association. And these little small screws are very common, as I said, in electrical fittings, but also people involved in model engineering, making model steam engines and things like that, will use a lot of BA screws. So what's special about them? Well, they're quite fine. They're quite small, as you can see. You can get them in either brass or steel. Uh, brass, of course, is a particularly suitable material for screws because it will withstand a high torque. Brass, brass will really withstand a, a, a lot of pull. Um, and a lot of people don't understand that because brass is quite soft, but it's still strong at the same time. So um, here we've got a, they, they are numbered from zero <laughs> upwards. And believe it or not, the screw gets smaller the bigger the number. Z zero BA is a bigger screw than one BA, and one BA is bigger than two BA, and so on. I hope that's clear. But even if it's not, at the end of this video, I'll give you a table which shows you all the BA numbers and the metric and inch equivalent sizes. On a gardener, they probably go down to maybe 6BA or something like that. I'll just get a set of sockets now and show you. This is a set of BA sockets, and they go down to 10, 10 BA. But you're not going to get that on gardener. Uh, as far as I can remember, really the most common size on gardener is 2BA. You'll not get much, you'll not get anything other than that. So there's no need to have so many sockets. Really, just a, a 2BA socket would be sufficient. But I think you'll find it quite difficult to find a 2BA socket. You'll have to buy the whole set. But they're not expensive at all. And you can also get uh, BA open end and ring, end, uh, ring spanners as well. Um, one peculiar thing about them that I've been told on my channel by one of my, my uh, users is that if you ring the thread in BA, you don't need to drill it out. If you ring metric, or you ring a uh, Whitworth or a BSF, generally speaking, you have to drill out the damaged thread before you can tap it, not with BA. My understanding is if you ring the thread, you can simply tap it again straight without drilling it out. I haven't actually tried that myself, I confess. Okay, so the important thing is, the essential question is, where do we find them on the Gardner engine? So we find them on the lift pump, uh, the little small screws at the top and the screws all the way around the body here. You'll find them on the water pump. These are BA screws here. These are not, these are Whitworth. Those are BA there, those screws. Uh, the only other place that comes to mind is this wee screw here on the starter motor. That's also a BA. That's all I have for you on BA screws. I did say it was going to be brief. And as always, I'm, I'm not an expert. And no doubt, there'll be facts that I'm leaving out. But anyway, thanks a lot for joining us. And Happy New Year. <laughs>